Okay, so I did have a video planned on talking about Manchester United's recent result against Leicester, but then this happened, and I realised, okay, scrap the two videos I planned. Let's make an entire new video addressing on the issues of Manchester United Club Day Football, as there's clearly some issues within the team. And pretty much the club for a whole, I mean... The transfer window wasn't exactly the greatest we've had in a while, but you know. Alright, so I've broken it down into three main issues. So, first thing that I feel is wrong within Manchester United is the player mentality. I think one thing I noticed with the teams, the team, especially Martial, Pogba, Rashford, um, Lukaku at times, they just seem very demotivated, like... They were in position, but they weren't like, there was no real energy, there was no oomph, there wasn't no desire. It's, it was annoying, like Pereira, Fred and Sanchez, when they play, they play for their place, like they put everything on it. I've only watched, I know I've only watched two games for Fred, but he's, any chance he gets, he presses. It's, there's energy, and any time Sanchez presses... The, there's energy. Pereira always looking forward. That's the difference between him and McTominay. McTominay just plays it sideways, plays it safe because he knows that um, that's what keep that's what um, Mourinho like someone who's disciplined, mature. Pereira is all that, but he also looks more for the forward passes, and that's one of the reasons why he's been starting. He did really well in the in the um, in the preseason tournament with his passing. But yeah, I think. Just player mentality. The the players don't. They're not. There's no real passion. There's no real desire. And I I just really annoyed because I don't think they're playing for the shirt. Like they're just kind of because it's the first few games of the season. There's no real like effort. Like if say this game we just played against Brighton was the first game of the season, and then it was Leicester. I'll be like, okay. There's a slight improvement because we went from playing abysmal to I still wouldn't be happy. Obviously, I mean. It's flipping Brighton, but still, I would have, like, we would have gone from lethargic as hell to, okay, there's a little bit more oomph, but there's still nothing quite there, instead it's the other way around, it was a, okay, this looks like it could be a decent season too, like, there was potential in that, in the first game, like, we were created a few chances, we looked good, and then just went, I mean, I don't know what it is with Sanchez and Martial at the moment, but when Sanchez isn't playing, we we it seems like we need Martial. When Martial is playing, it seems like we need Sanchez. I, it's I just like if you compare, say what like go on YouTube, watch the Barcelona versus Inter Milan quarter final. I think it's the quarters or the semis. I can't remember. I think it's semi final, Champions League semi final, two thousand and ten at the New Camp. Watch that game. That game, every single Inter Milan player played for Mourinho, played for their place, played for their club. I get that it's a semi-final, and maybe in Serie A matches they might have been different. But that's what the kind of mentality you need in a club for every single game. That's what Liverpool have. All their players play for their places, play for the club, play for the fans every single game. No matter how dead the game might be, they still that that's what all the pre you can see it in the pressing that they do, the style of play. United does nothing. Like the fact that I'm having to say this just makes me feel it's just dead. The I don't know what it is. I think player mentality, decision making really needs to improve. Especially Pogba was absolutely, oh, he just couldn't pass, make any passes. All his through balls, he pretty much, I can't think of many that he actually played it in perfectly and the player got onto it. It was just, oh, it was just, oh, was so frustrating. The only thing I liked about the Pogba the only thing positive about that game was that Pogba actually tried. Like, he tried to look for players. I mean, it, it just didn't come off, but he tried. Martial just looked... It's just typical Martial, really. Just didn't... Not like the Martial we first saw. It just... He looks like a shadow of a form himself. Like, there's no... I know that... There was a time where we were on the attack. And I'm thinking, okay, just make a run and you'll get the ball. But he's looking for the ball to feet. I'm thinking, what on the attack? What are you doing? Where's the run? Where's the run? And then go on to shoot. It's just... With Rashford, it was just... Like, he'll try and like do things, maybe you beat the man, but then you're just um, losing it. 
or he tried a few step overs and then it didn't work when he came on. Uh, there's a few things he did, maybe a few good parts. It's just, it's just an all around disappointing performance for everyone. There's something wrong within the player mentality. The players need to start playing for their places, start showing more desire. I get this the first two games. I get that you've been on a World Cup, but you have had a break. You have had a few training sessions. Doesn't mean you can't, you shouldn't, like, try at least. Just, like, I just would have appreciated more effort within the team in general. Like, Pereira, Fred, they showed a lot of, a bit of, a bit of effort. Pogba as well with his, he tried. But the rest just seemed a bit, mm. By Lindelof were just a bit defensively all over the place. It was just chaos defensively. De Gea couldn't save that pen. He saved it, but he was just unlucky. It was just... Mm. Alright. Second issue that I think that needs addressing. So the first one was player mentality. The second one is... I think we need to... Mourinho needs to set up a tactical plan within the team. I just feel like Manchester City... Barcelona, Spurs, Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, even Arsenal now, Unai Emery has started implementing one. Chelsea, they all have a tactical plan of how they win. With Chelsea, it's their sorry ball possession, long ball switch of the play, uh, runners in behind, whatever it is. Arsenal, it's their play out the back, run down the line and pull back crosses. Bayern Munich, it's their possession and wingers cutting in and one two pass triangle of passing whatever atletico it's their counter attacking and then their fast two touch passing spurs it's their flipping overload one side ericsson drops deep balls in behind with barcelona it's their messy cuts back cross switches the play as alba makes a run alba then pulls back or something and gives it to maybe suarez or coutinho i don't know well, that's how they used to play. If that's not how they play under Valverde, I'm sorry. I haven't been watching Barcelona. City, it's... I, I can't be asked. It's literally basically what Barcelona do. They all have... But they all have tactical plans. Manchester United, it's give the ball to Pogba. Hit it up long to Lukaku. Hopefully wins a flick. If not, we get into a nice defensive 4-4-2. And then we win the ball, possession it, play it around the back. If we're not getting pressed, if we do get pressed, we end up playing it back to De Gea. De Gea kicks it long to Lukaku and then we lose the ball. Or we do get it. Martial, if there's no space, we'll pass it back. Give it to um, Mata. He'll look up, maybe try and do 1-2. If it doesn't work, pass it back. It's just constant Louis van Gaal recycling possession. Ball crap that I just cannot stand watching. That's literally what it was yesterday. I mean, if this isn't our general style and that all the players had had um whatever happened to Tottenham like a few years ago where all their players had eaten something really badly and they all all just played an absolute disaster class. If it was one of those things, okay, okay, that's fine. But it wasn't. It was just shambolic. Clueless passing and recycling and ah. Oh. You'd think when we played Liverpool at home and we'd learnt how to beat the press we would just continually kick it long and not try and play out the back and when we actually kicked it long to Lukaku he had runners to flick the ball onto not this constantly leave Lukaku all by himself I'm sure he'll win the header it's ridiculous it's just clueless the players just have no idea what to do Pogba tried a few passes is it you just give the ball to Pogba hope that they do something special with it Lingard comes on. Jesse Lingard, who's most renowned for making runs in behind against a team that are most likely going to park the bus after they scored three goals, is put on the pitch and is expected to do something. What is he supposed to do? Team's defending deep. Pogba can't pass pass it straight, diagonal forwards, properly, off the air, without it going out for a throw in or a goal kick. He still had Martial on. And I'm watching the game, United are passing, and I'm seeing Martial drifting into central midfield. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, okay. In his early days, yeah, 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 he's centre forward. But nowadays, you don't, you don't do that kind of thing, so why is he trying to do it again now? Given the ball, he had no space to run into. I'm sitting there thinking, what's Martial doing? Get him on the left. Rashford. You ex <sighs> the thing with City and that is they do like triangle passing. So triangle passing, it like draws players towards you, and then you quickly pass it in the triangle, and it... Like, gives the winger space to cross. Russia's just expected to cross. He's doubled up and he can't do anything. Like, there's no tactical plan. Like, if United actually want to improve, they need to sort out the mentality. They need to actually plan a way. Mourinho needs to induce a method 
or tactical plan of how to actually win games. Because I'm telling you now, we are not beating Huddersfield away. We are not beating West Ham away. If we continue to play like how we played last season, with no tactical plan, it's just not going to work. No, we'll f- scrap that. Yeah, maybe, okay, Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City just play counter-attacking football. I mean, all the other clubs do it. I mean, we've got the players to do it. It's going to work then. When we actually have possession against standard teams that occasionally might actually press us to death, what will park the bus? We need a plan. There's no plan. So, Mr Mourinho, if you actually want to keep your job, you're going to need to think of a tactical plan. Because giving the ball to Pogba and telling him to kick it long to Lukaku with no help, no service... With... Oh, yeah, that's another thing. What do they do in training? Because Paul Pogba looks like he hasn't played football in about seven weeks when he's just come off the back of a World Cup. Where, where's the crossing? Martial the knight tries to play a cross. I'm seeing it go out for a goal kick. Pogba tries to play a cross. He plays a ball over the top. He goes out for a goal kick. I mean, what is that about? What is that? Oh, uh, yeah, when the uh, Brighton is a better prepared for us. Brighton what? Balongu's just come off the back of doing a Nigeria masterclass. I'm sure some other players that did, that I don't know of have also come back from Brighton that went to the World Cup. They've trained. They they can clearly pass. Glenn Murray can clearly finish with using the outside of his foot with his back to goal. So why can't you play a pass? Why can you not cross? We've played 38 games. 38 games. No, plus add the two. Plus pre-season. So that's what, um, maybe there was five pre-season games. Plus, that's, that's, that's what, 47 or 49 games. And we still cannot cross a ball properly. I mean, come on. If that's not an issue that doesn't get sorted, I'm seriously questioning how long Mr. Mourinho is going to start. So, first thing that needs to be sorted out was player mentality. Second thing is tactical plan needs to be Im- implemented the team the last issue and this one was obvious if you'd looked at the transfer window i mean the fact that we signed two players was good i mean at least we didn't sign no one like spurs that's 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 just what was edward we're doing can i can i i mean bossman just got the lots fred he's like okay that's it i heard older viral i heard boating i heard Maguire. three cent- center backs they just their names just popped up into thin air did we even go for a single one of them no I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, we need a right winger. Mario's just casually goes to City, okay? Just someone who can actually cross a ball, like... Um, for some odd reason while I was recording this, I forgot to mention the great right winger known as Wilfred Zaha. Apologies. We got the names of right wingers. We needed a right winger. Like, Malcolm, I think, Malcolm was available. Justin Kleiber were available. They just casually leave so easily. Um, and I'm sitting there thinking, where's the... What are we doing? Defensively, we know we've got an issue. We needed a a nice ball-playing defender would have been nice at the club. But, I mean, Joe Mbote, he's a decent defender anyway. I still would have taken him. We didn't go for him. There was no direction. There was no effort. There was no desire to sign any players. Like it's, he was actually sitting there. He actually thought it would be a good idea to sit for six weeks. Sit for six weeks, do absolutely nothing, and n- wait for a chance window to be over. And was actually content with watching one matter play eight thirty eight games at the end for at right wing. Like Edward would mate, what is going on in that head of yours? Glazers as well. I don't know if it's them or something. They're prepared to give money, but not too much money because they're in debt. So you know, but like. Still, how are you just gonna if the if the Glazers are the ones that are, are being reluctant to to hold the money then give him Mourinho the money he needs to sign players then I'm Glazers out because if you think one matter is good enough to win the league at right wing, there's something wrong, you're stupid if you think one matter thirty eight games, right wing is okay. Because it's not okay. It hasn't worked off on the last season. There's a lot of issues. I mean if you actually cared about Manchester United football game football team and you've watched them for 38 games you see the issues you know okay these areas need to be strengthened you give Mourinho the funds he's giving you a list of players that he needs to sign to strengthen those areas give him the money no no okay just get the lot yeah okay yeah Fred what's that about what is that about you've seen Lukaku boss man if 
Bossman was on a camping trip yeah I'm telling you the service he, he's Bossman's been trying to call his mum and the service he's been getting is terrible likewise is in the team yeah Bossman's been playing on football he's been standing there waiting for some good crosses to come in nothing back at Everton he had Leighton Baines Leighton Baines he can whip a ball here at United he's got what Martial Martial likes to dribble inside Rashford he likes taking on players Valencia who's been told not to cross Ashley Young that likes cutting back and in and out and in and out and then eventually passes it backwards. It's just not going to work. If, say, uh, Mourinho wanted to get rid of Martial and you said no. Okay, okay. But if you're not going to sign players to actually improve the team, then why are you there? Like, it's so obvious we need a technical, uh, a director of football. Someone who actually looks at the club, realises that, you know, someone who's got ambition, that wants to take us to the next level and knows that if the manager has some targets that need to be signed or is actually going to talk with the manager and actually put some desire and not go okay he's too expensive can't be asked he's going to actually no this is the player i want i'm going to try and get a decent price for him i'm actually going to desire put some effort in and actually try and get him but no there's none of that with edward wood it's oh he's too expensive really he's paid 89 million on Pogba. so what's the point i'm sitting there thinking why? Why do you have that dead mentality? How are you going to be so content with seeing just the lot and Fred? The lot who's injured until September. Fred, who's okay. But we still can't cross. Fred can't constantly isn't a winger. He's a midfielder. Like, flipping out. Even Yaramilenko would have been decent. Even Fred Anderson would be okay, no, no. But just a winger would have been nice. If you don't care. If you're not going to give the club what it needs, why are you there? If you don't love the club and don't want them to succeed and aren't prepared to give them what they need, I know it sounds like they're doctors or something, but still stupid. Honestly, so that's that's the next thing we need to do. We need to get a, type, a director, someone who knows the club, someone like who's a who's a, a legend, like how um Ix have a I think is is it Dennis? Sorry, forgive me. It's Mark Overmars. I mean, he's a legend on FIFA, so. I think he used. To, I think he used to play Ajax, but he is a decent. He was a decent Dutch footballer for Arsenal. But still, that's my point. We need someone who who's like a legend of the club, someone with a decent name that wants this club to succeed, with but doesn't just want the club to succeed whilst caring about his money. Is willing. Is not in debt. Is willing to. Yeah, we also need some new owners, people that are rich, that are passionate about the club, that actually want to do would do anything to help this club get to where it needs to get needs to be and that's back at the top so that's what we need we need preferably new owners but if we can't do that we need a director of football someone that can be willing to help Mourinho take this club back to where it's supposed to be and that's at the top competing with the best but yeah so that's my so overall I feel player mentality needs to be sorted out and that's only up to the manager the manager can sort out manager himself needs to sort out a tactical plan within the team and they need to sort out a director of football so I'm going to actually help negotiate and help with the transfer negotiations. But yeah, those are my views. If you guys got anything, please comment below. Sorry, these are going to be the style of my videos. I'm probably going to be doing more football reviews. Shout out to my friend Ellie Wade. She's a legend. She helped me out with this video. So yeah, cheers. Oh, All right. Oh,